Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use custom themes or change the themes of your ClickSense dashboard. So I don't know if most of you know this, but you could go to edit and each of your app has its own theme. So by default, ClickSense comes with maybe four or five themes. Um, there are ways to download more and install it. But if you if you go to if you go to edit, click on edit sheets and then click on your dashboard and you have this drop down here and you can go to settings. You can also change your title here and give a name uh, give a different logo or a picture for your app it's, or you could go to settings here and here you have something called change theme so now now we have this particular theme that was already installed and now if i click on click sense classic the theme changes and i can also go into let's say breeze and you see that the color theme changes here and a little bit of difference on the way it looks for example focus has more gaps while classic has one single sheet without any difference between the two charts so you don't see the two charts being um, separated and here you could change these moreover if you want to change how the start of every sheet looks like you could go to background color change it let's say let's put this one here as you can see here now the title of the sheet and the color has changed so let's say that you're you have company colors that you want to use you could go here and put in the code for the color so you have two because this would create a gradient so now if i select you see the end line color changes um, i can also add an image so if i go click on an image and say use this you can upload your own image, maybe your company logo, upload it. And now you see a little image on each of your sheets. Uh, you could change the color of the font for your sheet title. And you could also change where your image resides. So I'm happy with this. Let me go up and say done. And now you have a color theme here and you could customize it based on what you want. So I hope that was helpful and the way to change colors and measures, I have another video for it. Check it out. And if there's any questions or something that you're, that you want me to look at, please leave a comment below. I would love to um, see if I can help you all. If not, at least learn myself. So. This is a super short and quick tutorial. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.